Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Frosty. And I'm Quat. And together we're... Frosty. And Quat. But no, no, seriously, I'm Frosty. And I'm a D Quat. So we're trying to get everybody acclimated to the voices so no one's like, which one of you is exactly Frosty again? Although, given the fact that I'm the only one in my first three prior videos, should have been apparent to anyone who's been following, but dude, we have like no attention on YouTube, therefore my proxy knows who, or at the current juncture, even cares who we are. So I'm gonna ask you one question. Mm -hmm. Celestial Dragon sound good to you first time? Oh yeah, that sounds really good. Okay. We're gonna try and bring out Celestial Dragon. So, we're gonna go sarcophagus. And I know, you, I know you guys like elemental dragons. We're gonna we're gonna use elemental dragons. You're gonna banish elemental dragon? No. I'm gonna spin that roulette reel and banish Mr. Necroface, which in turn banishes the top five cards from each player's respective decks. And if I get a big dragon to go up there, I can then benefit from its effects. And more often than not, you get more than one effect to go off. But as you clearly see, I swung and missed. Big. Both my dragon's mirrors. There will be no five-headed dragons here, Mario. However, I can still do this. Not because it's the best move in the world, but simply because it's something I can do, you know? So, we're gonna get rid of Debris Dragon, so there will not be a first turn Celestial Dragon. However, potential first turn Dragosack? Sign me up, please. But from the Banish Zone, then get the big homie. If you don't know who that is, you should probably look him up. He's a really cool guy. We will get the big homie to represent. And at this juncture, we're going to activate. And we will send both of these little baby dragons to the Hawaii in order to bring out this guy. Now, this guy is a pretty big, mean, menacing fish. We do not require his services at the actual momentum. You understand what I'm saying, right? Mm -hmm. So you dig what happens when two dragons get together and collide in a rap battle. They oh. bring out Draco Sapien, who in turn can then summon the babies. The baby. The babies of glory. Because, you know, babies tend to, tend to like them. Sleep and poop and eat all day? Yeah, you know who else sleeps and poops and eats all day and doesn't give a damn about what anyone else has to say about it? Not sure. Light and Darkness Dragon. Ladies and gentlemen, Light and Darkness Dragon. He gives no dams about a damn about dams. So he's Child the Hedgehog. Well, there still isn't a fourth Chaos Emerald, so I believe so. And on that note, I will end my phase even though I had no hand control, completely exhausted all my resources, but because it's dragons, it's cool. No, literally, because it's dragons, I can do whatever I want and not have to worry about any sort of negative repercussion that may ensue. Okay, Forbidden Lands. Oh no. That's a damn shame. Good try, though. Well, that's a damn shame. Good try, though. Well, that's a damn shame. Good try, though. Really? Well, that's a damn shame. Good try, though. I didn't want to mess with that, man. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, lightness and darkness dragon. Because there's dragons, it's cool. So yeah, I'm Frosty. <laughs> and I'm Quat. And... No emotions were cared about during the course of this video. <laughs> oh god, what the hell was that? <laughs> and the shit don't work. And some of us know how to fuck that feel to be trying shit and trying shit, trying shit and trying shit, don't work. Trying shit and trying shit, won't work. Trying shit and try, switch it up. Trying shit and trying shit, won't work. That's how the fuck the tiger feel. Every goddamn day he come out with the roar and shit. Just